We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! This is new. finally brought the two of us together. Lord Foon. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. I could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day, after we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Maybe you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. Are we are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good, then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, she will, I'm certain of it. All right, let's gear up people. Tie up any loose ends, take a pee if you have to, cause we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Mantis. I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, 
Seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you're able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? You already got music playing. Right. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skull Suit doesn't show up in time. Nice. What is it? You'll see. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> the, the what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier? <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity? I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bug Girl, how come you can understand Groot so well? You've only known him a few cycles. Telenesin is a common language in some realities. The Jatauri don't always blow up Planet X. I am Groot. Yep. There's a dimension where I learned to speak it from a very aggressive compost vendor on Nowhere. <gasps> Groot loves compost. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. And yes, I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultaf. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we... mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? 
Well, uh, its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, uh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklufor is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath? You faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well... I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Nice move there, Drax. If I put my weight on my left foot, I have much better control over my right hook. People always underestimate proper footing technique. Well, focusing on the upper body alone is the mark of an amateur. Exactly. Weight distribution is crucial, especially with melee weapons. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. It's not a bad idea. We don't know what's gonna happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Bet those moves are really gonna impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. 
Gamora Zen Huberi, you wish to practice hand to hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? Well, you could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. I don't know what it is, but this you really likes closing fridges. The door keeps opening, so I close it. But it's broken. I mean, it's always broken. It's a universal constant. Huh. More you know. In retrospect, our team was eclectic on that first mission. That's an understatement. Rocket seemed like the only one who knew what he was doing. He did in the most chaotic way possible. What did he do with the detonation charges he found in the ventilation system? If he hasn't used them yet, they'll probably be in a secret stash. So the rodent does have a stash after all. You're overwatering, Sir Groot. What are you, Groot? Yeah, leave him alone. I tinker when I'm stressed, Groot waters, Gamora meditates, etc. When I'm stressed, I concentrate real hard, and sometimes I can see the birth of the universe. First, there's only one reality, and then, bam, all reality. That's kind of cool. I remember my first mission team. It was a disaster. Weren't all of them disasters? It's become part of our brand. True. They do not always go as planned. It may be unprofitable, but I cannot deny it is entertaining. And hopefully, great galaxy-saving practice. Alright, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Sir Groot, I gotta say, I don't know what you told the Katadi guardians at the cave entrance, but they were very cooperative when I came back with the villagers. I am Groot. Wow! Okay! Woo! Harsh words! Now I understand the fear in their branches. Spook them good.
Here goes nothing. Eh, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them toward the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! This sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? Clark. Why are we whispering, anyways? There, but they can't hear us through the ship's hull. Yet you're still whispering. Because I don't want to be the one to flark it up if they can hear through it. But they can't. Certainly if they could hear us. of the galaxy stop hiding the monster lords of Seknaf 9 hunger for battle we're not hiding we are sneaking because we need to get into sacrosanct alive then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in eat my children crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady's murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. 
That landing base are way in, but there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Got a piece of that guy. Boom! <laughs> that one's toast. Direct hit. Drag one. Now this is a proper dogfight. We're taking fire. Kill confirmed. That's a hit. Yeah, take that. Gotcha. Tagged him. Why not to get shot, Will? Boy, this sucks. Gotcha. Bet they felt that. Damage report. There's more where that came from. Hey, anyone spot any damage? That explosion in my ring last time we were here? No! Got a piece of that guy. We must make the most of this diversion! And hope we find Warlock fast when we're inside! Ha! Nice one, Quill! Great shot, Peter. Direct hit! Now this is a proper dogfight! I used to dream about space battles like this! Any of those dreams end in a fire?
on their hospitality! We had such a warm reception last time! Rocket! Go wild! Faces. How can we be certain they have not found a way to convert the warlock? It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me and Groot, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned warlock, he would have been here to greet us. I swear I will never set foot in a true trap. <laughs> Mantis, no spinning! Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying. Just worry about your shooting. You'll meet new people soon. Already here, Mantis. Oh! They hide for me! Celestial Madonna 
came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Hey, we can get through here. You coming, Quill? Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. This place brings back troubling memories. Good wants to know if you're gonna go all weirdo again. No. Thanks to all of you, I have seen through Magus's lies and no longer feel the weight of the promise. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay, sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't! <laughs> Imagine the heaven Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside! Probably destroyed half the armada! It seems a good time to shed our guard for the battle ahead. Nope. Oh good, here comes the cleaning crew. The spill is back that way, boy. I do not believe these people are janitors. Faulty oh, tracks! <laughs> Imagine the havoc Lady Helper must be wreaking outside! Move probably much half the armada by now. Inhibits their potential. I guess it was a pretty controlled role for the pug lady, I mean. Think they'll tell us where Warlock is? Don't think they're up for much of a chat. I shall break their bones! We win! We get first chance on all the salvage, right? Lady Hellbender may have an opinion on that. You said it, bud. They are gonna throw everything they got at us. And we will dodge it! Ah, there we go. Path this way. Come on! Star Guy, what does the angry orange light on your controls mean? Which one? The one under the tape. Oh, now it's yellow. Now orange again. Ooh, yellow. Just ignore it, Mantis. Put tape over my warning lights? They're distracting. You just lost your tape privileges. It's my tape. Is this really the most... 
most efficient path? <laughs> Not even close. Let me guess. This is the only one where we have a chance to survive? What? You can see the timelines too? Boys, this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. This is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. Signals coming from somewhere inside that giant freaking rock. Yeah, that scrap heap's taking pot shots at our monsters. Enemies ahead, Peter Quill. Okay, we got this. Now that we have conquered Foom, there are other great beasts worthy of our hunt. Root says Planet X had a really oh, scary monster named Gore. Come, test your metals! Be careful! They can try to box us in! I'm keeping an eye on the wall! Throw that, Drax! Using the turret is a great idea! Cut to pieces! Church is worried! They sent Nova after us! It's gonna be more worried once we walk 
that door? Yeah, yeah. Just let me do it. Ah, oh, well, that didn't work. The uh, panel's blocked. But I got a better idea. Hang on. the fight for everything is happening like right here people are gonna write books about this no pressure Apparently. 
Try your blasters, Peter. Let's keep pushing forward. Quill, I fear I will not be able to harm your child if she is lost. I am Groot. Of course you wouldn't let him, you big lug, but what if she don't give us a choice? I'll take care of it. Even if it means... I'll take care of it. Thanks, bud. Any bets on what's down there? No. Better than being exposed up here. Guys, it's not too late to surrender. Drop your blasters and we'll call it even, okay? You struggle in vain! Ranger had to know we chase it here, right? You're not a big us! It will be a fatal mistake! The hovering shaman is blessing his world! argument and we beat them mercilessly half expecting a monster to come crashing through the wall that would be very very bad maybe we should keep moving i would like to leave this enclosure i cannot see the battle you mean you might miss a peek at lady hellbender uh, and Finn find foom do you think foom holds a grudge we bested him in his own lair he will forever recognize us as his superiors yeah well he's lady hellbender's pet now and she does hold a grudge that is true. Okay, here we go. Just me. You're the one who brought us all together. And kept us together. 
Against our better judgment? That's because you guys have terrible judgment. You should just listen to me always without... Shh. Rocket, tell me we're almost through this. Uh, we're further than we were the last time you asked. Far. Don't blame me. <laughs> 